Hi and welcome to Inbound Explain. In this video, we're going to be talking all about HubSpot pricing and the different HubSpot services. So let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at the different tools that you have access to with HubSpot. First, let's take a look at the free tools. So with HubSpot, you get access to um, different free tools are, are associated with all the different products that HubSpot offers. This is a really great option uh, to use if you don't really know what you want from HubSpot yet. Um, the free tools are pretty robust, so you are able to actually uh, create a lot and do a lot with the tools. And the best thing about HubSpot free tools is that it's not a free trial. These are just free, period. So you don't have to worry about only having access to these tools for 30 days and then having to pay afterwards uh, with the free tools. They're always free and there's no, no trial or anything. Um, so with the free tools, you get just kind of a little bit of a sampling of each of the different services that HubSpot offers. So for example, with the free marketing tools, you get access to things like forms, email marketing, ad management, landing pages, and a shared inbox. I recommend that you come onto this page um, yourself. So if you see, I'm, I'm actually on HubSpot's services page right now. And I recommend that you go ahead and check out this page. We'll leave uh, the link here on the screen so you can see it. Uh, this page is, will give you a good insight into all the different services and tools that are available. I'm going to review some of them for you today, but if you want more information about pricing or you want more information about all the different features, then definitely come onto this page yourself so you can see what's more interesting to you. But I'll go ahead and review just some of the high level information for you. With uh, HubSpot's free marketing tools, you get things like forms, email marketing, ad management, landing pages, and shared inbox. So basically you're able to just conduct some kind of basic uh, marketing functions, uh, you know, by being able to create landing pages, you can also create forms that you can then put on those landing pages or put on landing pages that you have outside of HubSpot. Uh, and you do have access to the email marketing tools as well, which is really useful. With HubSpot's free sales tool, you get things like live chat, basic box, team email, customizable quotes, which is really great if you're sending off quotes to different leads that you have, and email scheduling. So you're able to schedule out um, emails, which will just help you a little bit more. With the free customer service tools, you get things like ticketing, email scheduling, live chat, a shared inbox, and basic bots. With the free CMS tool, uh, and CMS here just kind of refers to HubSpot's own uh, website uh, design and hosting tool, you get things like drag and drop editor, the mo mobile optimization, uh, you get access to HubSpot's blog, which is really the blog tool, which is uh, really great if you're doing SEO. You get standard SSL certificate, a certification, and you get the access to the website pages. And with the free operations tools, um, you get things like data sync, historical sync, default field mappings, app marketplace integrations, and contact management. Again, these are just kind of a high level review of the different tools. If you want to look at um, all the more specific things that you get with, uh, with the free tool, uh, definitely come onto this website so you can see for yourself. Now that we've reviewed the free tools, let's go ahead and look at the different paid tools uh, offered by HubSpot. So probably one of the most popular along with a sales hub, uh, we have Marketing Hub. Uh, there's two things to keep in mind when we look at the pricing for Marketing Hub. So um, first is that everything is organized into tiers. This is actually applicable across all of HubSpot paid tools. Uh, Everything is organized into three different tiers. The, the prices of each tier just depends um, on the either the access to the tools that you have, and uh, it could either be uh, how many contacts you have, which is in the case of Marketing Hub, or uh, the price can also be impacted by the amount of users that you have using the tool. So this is um, important when it comes to sales hub and I believe customer service hub as well. So just keep that in mind when we talk about pricing. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the high level things that we get with a uh, marketing hub and we'll start with starter. So with marketing hub starter, you get things like form automation, 
uh, and email automation so you get access to workflows, which is really uh, helpful to start doing uh, lead nurturing workflows. You get you also get to remove the HubSpot branding from the things that you had in, in the free tool. So if you were creating forms or landing pages with the free tool, you can go ahead and get rid of the HubSpot branding once you start buying into Starter. Um, and you also finally get access to um, live in chat support. So this is really good if you are, for example, creating a landing page or you're creating a form or a workflow and something's just not working right or you can't figure out a tool, then you're able to start um, emailing or live chatting with HubSpot's team, uh, which is actually really, really useful. So with Professional Hub, uh, you get access to all those tools plus a bit more, so you're able to start autom automating and personalizing uh, things a little bit more. You get access to um, ABM tools, so account-based marketing tools. You get access, access to social media. If you're going to be creating content in multiple languages like we do at CyberClick, you're able to start doing that with the professional tools. Um, you're also able to do things like A-B testing, which is really crucial when we talk about landing pages or CTAs because you're able to start seeing what works and what doesn't. Uh, with, per with Professional Hub, you're also starting you're also able to start doing things like building custom reports, which again is another way for you to see what works and what doesn't. Uh, and you're able to start integrating Salesforce, which is useful if that's a tool that you also use. When we look at um, Enterprise, you have access to all the tools that you have in Starter and Professional, plus a little bit more. So you get things like better management with the tools, so things like um, different permission settings, um, you can create hierarchical teams, uh, you can uh, create an email send frequency cap, uh, you're also able to do things like create custom objects, uh, do adaptive testing, and uh, what's really useful I think is that you get access to the sandbox, which means that you're able to have access to um, kind of like an, a demo account where you can test out things that you want to do with Sales Hub, uh, excuse me, with Marketing Hub without having, without having to launch them live on your website, which is really useful if you're doing things like creating landing pages or maybe you want to test out a workflow that you're not sure is going to be able to, to work, then you can go ahead and test it out in the sandbox. Again, the pricing here, it depends on um, how many marketing contacts you have. So this is unique to Marketing Hub. Uh, the pricing... Of course, it's impacted by the tools that you have access to, but it's also impacted by uh, the number of contacts that you have uh, within the tool. And this is specific to marketing contacts. So your marketing contacts and your sales contacts are different. They're, they're not the same. Uh, essentially, if you're going to be sending out marketing emails to your contacts, then they, get, then they are considered a marketing contact. Um, and it's just important to pay attention to how many of, how many of those contacts you will have because that will help to dictate the price. So let's go ahead and look at Sales Hub. So I would say Sales Hub is probably one of the most popular tools with HubSpot. Again, you can see that it's organized into three different tiers, but the difference here is that instead of um, the prices being dictated by not only just the tools, but the number of contacts, in this case, instead of contacts, it's based off of the number of users that are using the tool. So with Starter, what do you get access to? You're able to do things that you were able to do with the free tool, plus a little bit more. So now you have access to meeting scheduling. You have access to the documents tool. Uh, or, or rather, you're able to remove the branding from these tools. Uh, you're able to organize your sales process a little bit more. So now you can see things in multiple currencies. Uh, and you can also start using Stripe, which is a really useful tool. Uh, with um, Professional Sales Hub, you get access to all the starter tools, plus things like uh, sales analytics, teams. Um, you're able to start doing uh, custom reporting, which again allows you to see what's working and what's not. You have access to things like ABM tools and automation. Uh, you, and you, most importantly, I think, is you get access to the sequences tool, which I think is honestly one of the most useful tools inside of HubSpot, uh, specifically HubSpot Sales Hub. The sequences tool works really similarly to the marketing uh, workflows tools, um, and essentially they allow you to send out automated sales emails. So this is really useful um, to help free up your, your team a little bit 
uh, and do some one-on-one -on -one nurturing uh, and making it look like somebody's actually writing the email in real time, but actually it's all automated. And finally, we have Enterprise, uh, so you get access to all those tools that you get in Professional, plus a little bit more, so you get things like um, sales analytics, you get access to the playbooks, um, and I think the best thing that you have here with Enterprise is you get the predictive lead scoring. So this allows you to get a little bit more insight about uh, your leads. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Customer Service Hub. So uh, Service Hub are all the different tools you need in order to do um, good quality customer service. Again, it's organized into three different tiers, and this one uh, also has pricing based off of the number of paid users uh, who are using the tool. If we look at Starter, we get access to things um, like a shared inbox, you get a team email, you get ticket pipelines. So this allows you to organize uh, the different um, things that are coming in customer service wise. Um, and you get access to, to basic box uh, bots as well and a Slack integration. So which allows you guys to uh, maintain contact with your team. Uh, with the professional tool, you get access to all those tools, plus things like a knowledge base. You can create uh, that. You are able to do ticket routing. Uh, you can start creating customer feedback surveys and, and custom surveys, which allows you to know what's working and what's not with your customers. Um, and you get things like channel switching and a customer portal. With the enterprise tool, you get all those same things, uh, plus a little bit more. So you get um, more permission sets, uh, you get um, hierarchical teams, and again here you're, you're able to get a sandbox, which again is really useful for testing things out before you put them live within your own uh, HubSpot tool. It's like a little uh, demo tool that you get access to. With CMS Hub, um, CMS Hub is basically HubSpot's uh, way for you to create a, your own website inside of HubSpot. So you get everything that you need to create landing pages, website pages, um, and things like that. The pricing is based off of uh, the tools you get access to and doesn't have anything to do with the, with the users or anything to do with your marketing contacts. So let's take a look at the different tools that you have access to. So with Starter, you get um, access to premium hosting, you get a content, content delivery uh, network, and you get things like a custom domain security settings. You're able to build your website with website themes. So HubSpot has uh, different themes that you can use. You have the drag and drop editor, um, and you also have access to the HubSpot marketplace as well. So you can also buy themes or you can uh, create them as well. With Professional, uh, you're able to create smart content and reporting. You're able to create password protected pages and you can do uh, personalization on pages as well. Uh, what I think is really important is you get access to A-B testing. So again, this is really important for you to know what's working on your pages, what's not. And um, not only do you are you able to create uh, pages that look great with CMS Hub, but now with Professional, you're able to get access to SEO recommendations and optimizations. So that way, not only do the websites look great, but then you can also make sure that they are ranking as well, which is really uh, useful. And then when we talk about Enterprise, you get access to all the same things that you get in Professional. Plus, you get things like custom objects. Uh, you can do adaptive testing. Uh, you get things like code alerts. So if you or your developers are, are coding something on the page, you can see uh, what's working and what's not. And what I think is really useful is you get access to additional root domains. So if you're going to have uh, different root domains uh, for different types of content that you're going to have on your website, you get access to that, uh, as well as multi-domain traffic reporting. And finally, with the last HubSpot tool, we have Operations Hub. So Operations Hub is basically um, HubSpot's own tool for keeping things organized and connected. Um, it's also a way to automate different processes within HubSpot. I would say Operations Hub is especially useful if you decide to bundle um, HubSpot or if you have more than one HubSpot tool. Um, like CMS Hub, the pricing here is just dependent on the different tools that you have access to. Uh, with Starter, you get access to things like custom field mapping and custom properties. You're also able to see things in multiple currencies and you get access to list segmentation. 
in uh, the professional tier, you get everything that you have in starter, plus you get more automation tools. So you're able to do programmable automation. You can do web hooks and scheduled workflow triggers. You also get access to tools that allow you to clean everything up and organize everything a little bit better, like data quality automation and duplicate management. Um, and you get access to things like um, teams, required fields, things like this. With enterprise, you get everything that you have in professional, uh, plus just a little bit more. So you get some data sets um, and advanced data calculations and prep. And again, you know, with enterprise, you also get access to the sandbox. So again, this is really useful for testing things out before you have to launch them live. So that's just a quick review of all the different tools uh, that you have in HubSpot as well as pricing. Again, I really recommend that you come onto to the to the page yourself so you can see just exactly how much things cost based off of how many users you have or how many uh, contacts you're going to have in the system. And then one more thing to keep in mind is that most likely uh, you might not be using HubSpot or just one tool within HubSpot. Um, really, if you want to keep everything organized or keep things more fluid, you're going to benefit more if you decide to bundle the different um, products and plans that HubSpot has. Um, but the good thing is that HubSpot already has some of these bundles uh, listed out for you. So you can take a look at what what they are uh, as well. And again, you can take a look at that with, with the link that we included in the screen. And there you have it. If you want to learn more about HubSpot, take a look at our HubSpot playlist for more tutorials. If you want to sign up for HubSpot, check out the link in our description below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.